Hello and a warm welcome back to another episode of Mars Anomalies. We're looking at a site just to the west of a region called Naokis Terra in the southern mid-latitudes of Mars. This is a new site. New anomalies are discovered in a crater called a Darwin. Let's have a look at the main photograph. The high-rise team calls this photograph potential Amazonian Delta deposit within Darwin Crater. This was acquired by the MRO on the 3rd of September 2022 at a resolution of 25.2 centimeters per pixel. One by one binning was used. The images I'll be showing you are cropped from the JP2 black and white map projected file just under 600 megabytes in size and there's a look at the potential Amazonian deposit very interesting the anomalies I'll be showing you are some of these white dots that are scattered about throughout this region at the time of this video the high-rise photograph had not been loaded to Google Earth Mars yet, so the site is right here to the left of Nalkistera within Darwin, roughly at about 56 degrees 28 minutes south, 17 degrees 50 minutes west. So to start off with, we'll be looking at the artifacts like this one in the center of the screen where we have large base structures with smaller objects in their centers and for those of you that have been following my work and research of the past four years you'll know that that is a common occurrence on Mars especially in the southern mid latitudes so let's zoom in on that piece which is about 12 meters across and it looks like a six-sided object with this smaller conical feature right there in its center. Also here on the side, it looks like a rectangular opening. Who knows what this is, folks. Some people speculate we might be looking at some type of plant or flowering object that produces these strange protrusions. We need to get boots on the ground to go and see what these things are. Now we're looking at this rectangular structure over there folks. It's about 12 by 12 meters in size and as usual it has the smaller object right there on top in its center. We've also got multiple right angles and straight edges to these pieces to the left and right, also via to the bottom left. And we're looking at a similar item over there, folks, a little bit smaller, but also a close up reveals this smaller object on the top in its center. This looks almost like it could have a round arch or a rounded design to it. Again, could this possibly be an opening like a ventilation or entranceway? And then these three similar rectangular items over here to the left also look very, very artificial. The spacing between those as well, and they're parallel with one another. Looks like some type of ancient devastated structure then we're looking at a much smaller version of that folks this is about four meters by four meters in size partially covered in sand and dust but also the smaller part on the top with a rounded arc like design parallel with the one side this looks like a devastated structure. And then finally, this one over here. It's about four meters across. And it also has the small protrusion or knob 
in its center. And we're looking at triangular depictions. Check this out, folks. This piece is about six meters across. And we have another one of these, what I speculate to be triangular depictions in the center of that slab. And that's also a common place on Mars. Another partial triangular depiction on this piece. Check out the close-up folks. Straight edges, right angle there. And then the three smaller parts arranged in a almost triangular pattern. Look at the two smaller parts to the right. Same size and shape parallel with this one side and then uh, to the top got another potential megalithic block the arrangement of these smaller objects sticks out like a sore finger as well check this out three in a row there three in a row yeah equal spacing or virtually equal spacing between those and there's also multiple layers over here to the right. Then we'll zoom in on the arrangement of here to the top left. And we've seen this on Mars as well, where we have four small items arranged or placed in a square or rectangular pattern. Over there I can also see three smaller items in a row. Let's zoom in on this piece and take a closer look. We even have these two potential smaller objects here to the top forming two rows of three items each. The photo breaks up quite badly when we zoom in on it so it's difficult to tell from the detail visible in this close-up. We're looking at this strange piece, also nothing else like it. Let's take a closer look at why I think this could be artificial. We've got what looks like a carved out area here to the right and over here to the left, forming two right angles. Then the two slots on the side of the piece of here too makes this look highly artificial like a carved or machined piece. Alright, zooming down to the southern mid latitudes we have Nohokisteria to the right and then Darwin over here to the left. Let's have a look at those anomalies just briefly for summary. And then the artifacts at this site of here to the southeast. It's got the disc, the small part in its center. That disc is about 12 meters across. So we're looking at potential uncovered bunkers with these hatches on them. Could these be markers of some kind? Plant forms or forms of life growing in the centers or gravitating to the centers of these smaller objects, folks. Is it some type of technology? Check out the rectangular opening in this block. And then we have a saucer with a small dome on its center right there next to it. Looks almost like an outpost or a hangar with a small craft in the entranceway. Not that it is, folks, but that's what it looks like.
And with that said, we've reached the end of this presentation. Merry Christmas to each and every one of you and your loved ones. I hope you have a great day. See you soon. Bye-bye for now.